Oh, it is Monday morning. What a fucking weekend. When I get home, I'll, uh, I'll explain what happened. So like I said, it's Monday. Weekend was incredible. We ended up spending all of Sunday trying to recover. Um, had a birthday party we had to go to. So didn't film anything, didn't think about anything. Just kind of spent the time with friends and family and all that stuff. But she did absolutely better than I was expecting, which is, which is great. Um, Friday, the last, after the last time I picked up the camera, shit went south i um broke the fuel pump at the 11th hour and no fuel pumps in town i can get to so i ended up having to manufacture a new mounting ring for the fuel pump so that the fuel pump would mount and actually work properly after putting in the extension kit um extension kit went without a without a breeze or went with a breeze i don't know the fucking term but it went great until it wasn't and that's basically when it went south, stopped filming, started focusing, got her ready. At the 11th hour, she was done. And Saturday morning at 8 a.m., we drove off into the sunset, sunrise, I should say. And we wheeled until it was lunchtime, until we got hungry, until we couldn't take it anymore, until we were tired, until we hit every trail we wanted to hit. And uh, she, I'm gonna stop talking. I'll show you. So, after that, that was when we realized the fuel tank still leaks. Um, it spilled a little bit of fuel out. It wasn't as bad as it would have if I didn't fix the fuel pump. But it spilled fuel. We figured that out. And that was the second try of two. We didn't film the first one because... Quite honestly, we forgot to film a lot this weekend. But the first try, damn near rolled her over. Went too uh, went too close in, set my tires up too soon. And then I hit the gas and she jumped sideways and almost... And I was stuck like this for a second. But as you can see, the second run, without a hitch, jumped her a little bit. But uh, that was fun. That was what we call the rock garden here. And... Uh, well, I'm just checking it. You're about to come off a rock. Be careful. Driver. You're going to fall down in a second. There you go. Uh, what we call the waterfall and it's about a five foot ledge at the end of it rocks all the way up in between and uh, I hit that trail five years earlier with my Cherokee open diffs 35s four and a half inch lift and it didn't do as well I think I got through that whole run in the Cherokee in about five six or so minutes and it was rough the whole time banging and slipping and everything 
This one, about a minute. Minute, no, no spotter really in the beginning. And uh, she just did what she needed to do. As you can see, she was the biggest Jeep there, and she did great. I mean, 40s, one tons, every other Jeep there was on 35s, I think. And, you know, it was uh, it was fun to see what she could do. And obviously, she did it pretty good. Little to no effort for most of it. The 536 gears that she has, I was crawling most of that with 
thousand RPM. It was just barely chugging along. It was, it was great. Was now, most of what you just saw, she was destroying it absolutely doing what she was designed to do that one right there looking great so after all said and done came home checked her out a couple little body damage pieces scraped the, the rear diff once or twice so the rear diff is uh textured let's say um ripped one of the new fenders off which i didn't clearance them enough so I ripped one of the new fenders off, just the front of it off, which is nice. So that means I can still kind of salvage the the area. Wasn't too much damage. Other than that, absolutely no issues, which after five years is amazing. So needless to say, the old girl did what she needed to do. All the last week of work was worth it, even though most of it was painting. I mean, it took forever to paint the fenders. Trimming the fenders definitely helped. Putting every little single piece on. She's got a new top on. The top was great. Kept all the wind out. Kept everything else we wanted in. in. It, was, it was incredible. It was a good weekend. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. And uh, we'll pick up maybe sometime this week into tearing everything out of the Jeep and making sure she is ready for the next trip and there's a couple things i'd like to address but we'll save that for the next video